Hello there, my name is Kim and welcome back to Burly Men at Sea. Let's see what other adventures wait for us in the open water. Let's go. Anything over here? Negative. How about the left side? There's the moon. Okay. Thing on the rock. Let's look again. Nothing. Oh, is day breaking? There goes the moon. Oh, another bunch of fog coming in. That can't be good. And no more fog. Okay, um, more fog. Hello? Uh oh. A serpent? Well met, bearded travelers. The voice is deep, musical. Er, hello, stammers brave beard, wonder apparent in his face. You've seen much this day, she continues, smiling. The men nod, unnecessarily. Yet, you have not seen all. She peers at each of them. Other paths lie untrodden behind you. If it is in your hearts to seek these paths, another day awaits. Hasty Beard clears his throat nervously. Pardon my interruption, ma'am, but we've no longer any true vessel which with to seek them. Lost at sea she was. The silvery laugh ripples the water around them. You have traveled far without her, have you not? But do not be troubled. That which is lost may yet be found. May we meet again at the end of another path. Inclining her gleaming head in farewell, the creature slips silently away into darkness. Her words seem to linger, leaving them quiet as the drifting fog returns. The Spirit of the Sea So now what? There's the sun. Is that gonna get rid of the fog so I can see? Sure does. There's land over there. And away we go. Alright, onward. Those, uh, some penguins. That sound weird. What else is on this island here? Some regular birds. Oh, a moose. It's a big moose. It's a really big moose. Can I talk to the moose? Okay. Not much to say there. Ooh, a house. Anybody live on this deserted island? This is not deserted if anyone lives here. Let's go inside. Wait a minute. This is the coffee shop. Thought you'd find a way to that door eventually. The old man greets them. The familiar has a way of making itself new when you look at it sideways. Never seen that part of the island before, I bet. The men shake their heads. Still have that map? He questions. Steady beard nods, silently passing it to him. Nice. I see you managed to find those adventurous deeds. And did you meet her? Aye, Bravebeard is the first of the brothers to speak. Magnificent she was. 
like the charm of old tales. But she told us we've more to see. Aye, it'll be there when you're ready for another go. The old man gestures to the books. Those shelves are full of tales like yours, and all the paths left untrod. There's a twinkle in his eye. I even contributed a few in my time. You see, he continues, what's left unwritten in one story can fill others. If ye've the inclination to sail again, have another look at that shelf. Early Minute C. Steady Beard reads aloud. Not a bad title, that. But what's all this numerical business on the spine? And how did... He gives them a sly look. That's another mystery. If ye've the curiosity for it. And one last thing, continues the old man. I don't mind telling ye now that I was one who set your bottle at sea. I've another to be tossed out. For the next curious soul, will ye do the honor? Sure. Give me that bottle and I'll throw it out to sea. Well, this is a good game. Um, I'll let these roll through, and then I'll say about doing a uh, another run through. See if there's anything different for the second go around. Be right back. Let's see about throwing that bottle out into the sea. She's come back to us, exclaims Hasty Beard, and more lovely than we left her. Courtesy of Barnacle Transport Service Incorporated. Read Steady Beard from a notice on the side. Why that great blubbery bellyache did a good deed. That was good on the whale. Off we go. Not again. Be welcomed, wayward pilgrims, speaks one of the nymphs, for who can resist the majesty of the great barnacled one? So it is that we awaited your return. Harder to resist when you're sucked down like a clam and stew, growls Brave Beard. The great one journeys this way daily so that through him all may one day find the place of promise. Predictably, the nymphs trade nods of approval. Will you wait with us here by the fire, or is it the way of the faithless you seek? What if I just wait? What's that going to do? The men fidget for a moment, as Steady Beard clears his throat. If you don't mind our intrusion, we'll wait here with you fellas. Sit, friends. For those who follow the Great One, there is no mind. Aye, that's the plane, grins Grave Beard, and the three men sit. There is a silence, and the nymphs begin to speak in turn. 
But then the great one, there's... I missed that. Great one's kindness is as... Go ahead and I. Gently modify potatoes, and then begin to nod off, and catching only pieces of the nonsensical exchange as they fall into a deep sleep. Biodiversity. Final stop. Please exit through the front with your belongings. That's cool. Those long-haired imps let us sleep through our stop, complains Hasty Beard, as they sail out into the sunlight. Brave Beard merely shudders. May as well see where it is we have stopped, anyway. Something new? There's a new island? Nothing that way. I guess we can go that way. Nothing of interest? Alright. Let's go this way. The tall structure. The music is pretty good in this game. Nothing that way? Alright. Can we talk to the bird, maybe? Awaken something? Is a golem? Great lumpling land rats! Exclaims Brave Beard, edging away. Stop! The voice is deep and aged as the earth itself. Men and rock stand staring at one another. Moments pass before the creature speaks again. You are small. Something about the naivete of his statement seems to ease them in. You're rather large yourself, tries Braidbeard hesitantly. Thank you, rumbles the small mountain simply. Would you like a flower? I am quite good at flowers. Oh, we don't want to be a bother. Begins Hasty Beard, in fact, but the creature is already turning. Okay, am I getting the flower? Or maybe I will fetch three. Rumbling happily to itself, the geological oddity thunders away. The men breathe sighs of relief. Well, that was weird. Can I go see where it was going? I have done it. I have fetched a flower. The men turn reluctantly from the enticing safety of their boat to face the returning earthquake. Gently, the massive stone fist placed before them what appears to be an upended tree. Why, thank you, gushes Hasty Beard, elbowing the snickering Brave Beard. What a nice flower. The creature beams. Um. Uh oh. The creature's shoulders slumped, dejected. It has wilted. You know, I think I saw another on the far end of the island, so just steady beard. Why don't you go? I will fetch it. Brightening, the mountainous being turns once more to thunder away. I guess now's our chance to escape. Or maybe three, Hasty Beard calls after him, grinning. Quick, while we have a chance, he adds in a whisper, leading the way to the boat. Let's get out of here. 
Probably gonna make him angry, though. Hope it didn't see you. I think he saw you. Are we home free? We good to go? Looks like it. What do we have here? Something in the sky? Uh oh. Maybe a storm? I don't like the looks nor sound of that, weary steady beard over the distant rumble. Rather be fetching flowers with the walking rock pile on dry ground. Are these the doldrums? Storm? This won't end very well. On cue, a shower of rain tumbles over them. Suffering squid lovers, howls hasty beard. We'll be sunk. They bail furiously, but the downpour is relentless. Through the eerie gray, they seem to hear the faint keening of wordless song. Uh oh. Mermaids. Maybe it's a good thing? Hopefully it's a good thing. They're clearing the way for us. That's awful nice of them. Uh oh. A flash of lightning suddenly illuminates their surroundings. Woman folk, yells Brave Beard. There are woman folk in the water. His shout is followed closely by a splash of hasty, as Hasty Beard jumps in. Well, that was weird. Of all the kelp headed halfwits, a second splash halts Steady Beard's analysis of the situation. Sighing deeply, he dives after them. This probably won't end very well. Finding the dark, empty water. The men quickly regret their course of action. I would hope so. Oh, they're slowing down. We're we going back down? What are we doing here? A narwhal. Okay. Jellyfish. Hope that big one didn't come back. What's your uh, plan of action there, guys? We meet again, bearded travelers. Is it the sea lions again? Or seals? Nope. That serpent thing. You have sought new paths this day, she smiles. The mid nod unnecessarily. Yet still, others lie untrodden behind you. Her gaze is deep, searching. It is well for you to bear the look of those who would seek them. May we meet again at the end of another path, inclining her gleaming head, glimmering head, in farewell, the creature slips silently into, away into the darkness. In the quiet that follows, the men find themselves still sinking. That's not good. Surely they're out of breath by now. Ocean floor. These guys must be supernatural beings to hold their breath this long, or they're breathing underwater by now. Where are we going, guys? I 
Then we're going back up to uh, ocean level. Well, we're back on the surface. Am I on that same island again? Looks like it. These guys have anything to give me? Guess not. Okay. Guess I hire the birds. Alright, I guess we're going to go back into the coffee shop and see what that old man has to say about this adventure. How did they go, did you? The man greased them smiling. Well, let's see it. Aye, he sighs. Beautiful that is. As they turn to the shelf, he nods. I'd wager there's room for more up there. There probably is. But, sadly, I'm not going to do another round of this. Um, I really do enjoy this game. It's got really good music to it, and I guess good storyline, if you want to call it that. Uh, my name is Caleb. This has been Burly Men at Sea, and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.